Welcome to The Advocate on PLUS TV Africa. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. We tell it like it is. I'll be looking at protecting minors from predators in this holiday season. Elijah will touch on leadership transitions, global diplomacy, and lessons from, and lessons from Freetown in Sierra Leone is Abdul Malik. He'll be speaking on enabling technology for Africa. Well, I'll be talking us through the lessons from protests and political dialogues. Inigbe will similarly be highlighting some of the lessons from the Senate President's derogatory remarks that sparked debate on gender respect across Nigeria. Elijah will lead the way right after this short break. Leadership transitions, diversity, equity, inclusion, global diplomacy and lessons. As long as poverty, injustice and gross inequality persist in our world, none of us can truly rest. And that's from Nelson Mandela, of course, we're in the Mandiba's moons in July. In a significant move, President Joe Biden has announced his intention to step down, signaling a responsible leadership transition. This decision contrasts sharply with the reluctance of some African leaders to relinquish power, underscoring the importance of democratic principles and leadership accountability. Concurrently, the emergence of Vice President Kamala Harris has invigorated discussions on diversity, equity and inclusion DEI, in leadership, setting a global example of progressive governance. In Nigeria, planned protests are stirring tensions with the presidency, accusing political opponents of foiling their race. These accusations suggest a fragile political climate where transparency and dialogue are critical to maintaining stability. Going back to global front, peace talks are gaining momentum with the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visiting the US for discussions just about a month after the visit of the Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. These talks emphasize the need for diplomatic engagement and conflict resolution in maintaining global peace and security. Lessons from this Leadership transition embrace democratic principles for smooth transitions on diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. Promote diversity, equity, and inclusion in leadership and decision making for a prosperous and sustainable national group. On gender equality, ensure respectful treatment and equal opportunities for women in politics. Transparency. Foster transparent and open, continuous dialogue between the government and the masses and various stakeholders on diplomatic engagement. The journey to global peace is very tasking and requires intentionality in prioritizing diplomacy for conflict resolution and peace building. Now, my fellow advocates, before we respond to this, let's observe a moment of silence in commiseration with the families of the victims of the plane crash that occurred on Wednesday, the 24th July, during the takeoff at the Kamandu's Tribuan International Airport in Nepal, where over 18 persons, 18 persons lost their life. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. Um, so, I, w I was going to talk about leadership and responsibility. You saw what happened. President Joe Biden, after due consultation, decided to step down. Okay, I'm not running again. Or even even if some quarters were saying if you are going to step down from contesting then you should actually step down from the, being the well, let's leave that but in in africa we've seen situation mm -hmm. where some persons have refused to relinquish power mm -hmm. and then the citizens are helped there's a question how have this country failed um fed there's argument that some of these countries are better off and there's some argument that they were not better off so i, I want to hear your take on this let me start with you uh well um I was actually going to hope that Inigbi would um, come in at this, <laughs> at this point. No, but um, I think the most glaring one we have, the father of them all is Paul Beer, <laughs> a man who rules from Paris and all that. The point you would look at is who is supporting this man? They said when you see uh, something dancing on the road, the people beating the drum for him are just, you know, inside the forest mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. So uh, Joe Biden, the last time we were together, when we talked about this, I said when people saw that debate 
they realized that something was off. And it didn't help that he goes back and comes down with COVID. A man that has integrity will always demonstrate leadership. Because there is no point, if you want to be president now here of this advocate group, and by the time two of us back out, she's willing to walk away, who are you going to be advocating for? So I think the man saw the handwriting on the wall. And the Democrats have always been a group of people who always believe in setting a precedence, in letting integrity grow. That's always been their watchword for a long time. And they like fair play. So if people, if your donors are saying, we're not giving you any money, we're not going to stand by you, what are you going to do? You will leave. If the Republicans come out tomorrow and say, oh, um, Trump is a convicted felon, 34 counts, we don't want to support him anymore. He's not going to have anybody to work with. So in, in Africa, we have had uh, one of our former presidents still living who wanted to do third term. And people said, you cannot. He didn't stay. We are um, privy to uh, Babangida's speech of stepping aside. So when the people make enough noise, their opinions will rule the day. So Biden just had a listening ear. That's all. Nigeria now, we have enjoyed democracy since 1999, mm -hmm. uninterrupted, mm -hmm. and nobody has overstayed. When good luck, Jonathan, when, oh, they were like, oh, should it be like this? Or oh, the man said, I, I know, I like peace. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to give up. So I think Nigerian leaders, to a very fair extent, you know, have actually done the right things in terms of passing the baton when the time comes for them. So I don't think we can really, really say, oh, Nigeria. No, we're actually setting a precedent or an example for other Africans, uh, other African states. So Ni Nigeria is a bit uh, different. We, when you look about, if you say we have elderly leaders, that is another conversation. Mm -hmm. But Nigeria, no. Ghana, when the time for transition comes, they go. Yeah. So when you're looking at, you look at Paul Beer, you can look at Rwanda, but when you go to Rwanda, you find that the people actually like Kagame. So I really don't know. Is that sustainable for them? That's the question. They want Kagame. They like Kagame in power. He has been doing very well, but is it okay to have someone? Well, but he's there at the moment, okay. and that, uh, we're not Rwandans. Okay. This is what the Rwandese people well, want. So. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I think I'll basically just dwell on lessons from you know President Biden's action. So I think first of all, what global leaders or you were asking about African leaders can learn from this is you know understanding and adhering to democratic principles and values. So if our leaders, um, well, this is beyond Nigeria now, you know, Africa and you know globally understand adherence or understand democratic principles and values, it would be really, really essential. And then again, I think that from President Biden's action, we can see that he, he understands that leadership is a temporary service to the people. So it is not, it is not, it is not a personal, you know, mm -hmm. achievement, but you know, a temporary service to the people. So yeah, those, those things are all So like, you, you, see, you should always look at the end goal, not your personal yeah, ambition. Precise. Leadership transition. What's okay, your? so my take is that African leaders should have um, the interests of the people at heart, not just their selfish interests, because I wouldn't want to say Africans are not ready for democracy yet, to understand the rule of law, to understand things, on, and to follow through. And so, um, understanding that the interest of the people comes first is the first thing they should always consider. That's my take. All right, thank you very much. So it's up to the people of America to decide who is their president, based on what they think is good for them. Continue to advocate with us on our social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, Hashtag the advocate ng or on X and Instagram at Plus TV Africa. Hashtag the advocate ng. To catch up with previous brokers, go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Okay, Bola Yaya will be next after the break. Do stay with us. <laughs> <laughs>